Okay guys, I wanted to give you a quick rundown of how to do some basic photo editing on your phone. Um, my favorite app for doing this is called Snapseed. It's this one here in the middle. Um, and I wanted to show you, uh, first of all, how to take photos of your work in, in the best light possible, and then how to edit them um, using Snapseed. So I've taken a few photos of this painting of mine. Um, this is like a giant flagpole that's decorated with leaves. I painted this last summer. Um, and I wanted to show you what it looks like this is uh, taken with just some natural light streaming in through the window. This is taken with fluorescent light um, in, in a bedroom. And then this is uh, fluorescent light with, as you can see, a shadow of my hand on the piece. Here's another one with a shadow. And then this is taken in um, sort of one of the side rooms of my apartment where there's some direct light. However, there's an issue with um, some direct light hitting it in, in an uneven way. So here I've positioned it in such a way that it's got direct sun, well not direct sunlight, but it has um, diffused sunlight hitting it, which I would recommend um, doing as often as possible, just taking a shot of your work with some actual light from the outside. So either sunlight or a cloudy day is great too, but try and get close to a window to take a picture of your work. It will, it will give you the most realistic uh, details. Um, here's another one where I tried to get a little bit lower so that it was more even. Don't shoot your picture like this. You've just got way too much work ahead of you if you try that. Uh, same here. So you want to try and get down low if you're shooting it leaning against the floor. You want to get as uh, even with it as possible. Now I'm going to go to Snapseed. I'm going to hit open and I want to select, uh, well, I would want to select this one because, well, I'll just select this one. But you'll notice that it's not exactly perfect. One of the things that is the best part about Snapseed, uh, there's a lot of simple edits you can do. Um, I'm gonna open this one because it's a little worse, so I'll show you more dramatic changes. So you go to Tools. Uh, you can start by just cropping out some of the extra, extra nonsense, but you'll notice that it's uneven. It's wider at the top than the bottom. So what you can do, I also need to do a little bit of rotation and I'm just dragging my finger across the screen to do a slight rotation. Then I can do um, the perspective button and the perspective button lets me warp it a little bit. I'm bringing the top in and I'm pushing the bottom part out a little bit now you don't want to do this too much or it will warp what your photo looks like. You don't want it to like completely change what your original piece looked like, but um, this is especially tricky with larger pieces that you're photographing. You might need to make some adjustments. So now you can see that it's more square with all four edges and that's feeling a bit better. So I'm gonna hit check, and then I'm going to crop it one more time to get rid of the excess space. Like that. Now I don't wanna crop off any of my piece. Excellent, looking good. Now if I wanted to undo anything, I can click up there and I can do undo, redo. I can view the edits I've made, which is really cool. Um, so I can go from there. Now um, I can also go to tools and I can go to tune image and this slider button at the bottom 
If I'm on brightness and I just move my finger to the right, it will increase the brightness. If I move it to the left, it will decrease the brightness. If I hit the, the sliders again, I can change the contrast. Sometimes you might need to increase your contrast just a little bit. But if you increase it too much, it starts to just um, not be realistic to your, not be true to your original piece. So you only want to make minor tweaks here. I actually think I'm going to turn down the contrast a little bit. Um, in real life, this piece is a little bit warmer feeling, so I'm going to increase the warmth a little bit, I think. Um, I don't really know what ambiance means. Interesting. So this is looking pretty good. I'm going to hit check, and then when I'm satisfied with the edits I've made, um, I can hit export. And then you can either save a copy of it or you can save it and it will overwrite uh, the original in your, um, in your photos library. You can also uh, share it in different kinds of uh, platforms if you want. So um, basically when you are making edits to your photo, what you want to do is be as true to your original piece as possible. So you don't want to go in and fix any smudges or like add extra figures to your drawing or anything. Unless you're going for a digital art based portfolio, the editing that you do here is really just about tweaking your image to look as much like your original piece as possible. Give a really true rendition of it. So I hope this is helpful. Um, when you save your progress, you wanna make sure that you're saving as the highest quality as possible every time. And then when you go to upload to AP, you need to make sure that your image is less than three megabytes. So you might need to reduce the file quality on your computer. Hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching, guys.